Good afternoon YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Now today we're installing one of these little 3-in-1 charging ports. There's two USBs on there and there's a little 12 volt cigarette lighter. It's also got a little digital display which gives us the status of the battery. Really simple job and it won't take too long. Stay tuned. Now folks, before I go installing this, I'm going to disconnect the battery and I'm going to remove the tank. Now I've done videos on that before so I'll put little links to these so that you can watch them if you want to. And after that, I'm going to show you where I'm going to fit this and just exactly why. I think you might be a little bit surprised. Now, when you disconnect a battery, guys, remember you want to go negative, positive. And then when you reconnect it, you want to go positive, negative. That way you're not going to short the battery. Just to recap, that's when you take the tank off guys, you've got the two fuel breather lines, you want to, un you want to disconnect those from under the tank. You've got this little blue clip here, you want to disconnect that. On this side you've got the little fuel line, you need to disconnect, and this little clip that sits just behind the pump there. Rubber grommets here, you just want to slide the tank back, lift it up, and then lift the tank off. Only takes maybe two minutes. Of course, as you would expect, in the box you get these different types of connectors. I'll just show you those now. If we look at this bracket here, little metal one. That's designed so that you could maybe put that, you know, mount it onto a wing mirror. Or, you know, you could maybe put it onto, you know, something like that on the front of the bike. Perhaps in this kind of direction. I'm not actually going to use this one. I'm going to use this little circular bar mount here. And the reason for that will become apparent. Most people, to be honest, are going to mount this up the front somewhere. And I'm not going to do that because I've already, to my mind, I've already got too much going on up here. Seen this type of thing mounted somewhere like this. I've even seen someone have it on their, you know, their, their engine guards there. Uh, you know, on the back of the frame here. Depends on what you intend to use it for. You might be a little bit surprised about this, folks, but my plan is to actually mount it back here underneath the top box here for me personally it's going to be more useful now i've already got two usb ports here which i can use for sat navs or phones or anything i've got here and i've also in my tank bag i did a video on this before but in my tank bag i've got a little gv usb hub so on the front of the bike i've got more than enough to charge you know batteries for the gopro the phone the sat nav all of that type of thing but at the back of the bike, I tend to carry things like the drone, for example, maybe my laptop. I've even got a Kindle, you know, so if I go camping, then I need to charge the Kindle. That doesn't mean to say I want to be charging everything in the tank bag. So this allows me to run power into here if I want to charge the drone. But I also have a Lomo dry bag. So I can, you know, run power into the dry bag. And the same with the pannier bags as well guys, I use GV soft bags, so it's really easy for me to run additional power into these bags here as well. In the box you get this little bit of 3M sticky tape, so I'll just put that on there and you know, just to give it a little bit of extra grip. So guys, I put a little bit of blue Loctite on these screws here, just to stop them from rattling loose. Especially here at the back of the bike, just want to make sure that doesn't drop off. Now at this stage, bearing in mind I'm working at the back of the bike here, you're probably wondering why I've taken the tank off. It's because I've got this little in-of switched relay system that I've already installed. And the connectors for that are underneath the tank. This is what I'm talking about here guys. I did a little install video on this a couple of months back. I'll put a link to that towards the end of this video. But it's a little switched relay system that I can hook up my accessories to. You see these little fuses here? I've already hooked up three accessories to this. Now of course you can connect these things direct to the battery. But I want to try and make sure I don't get any kind of parasitic draw on there. This little hub here comes with these fuses and little eyelets connected. What I've done is I've snipped those off because I don't want any additional fuses in there. We're already going to have a fuse. So the live's going to be hooked up to one of these here and then the neutral is going to be hooked up to the bike somewhere. So for this one I'm going to use number four. So we look here, we've got fuses one, two, three, 
4. This will be fuse 5. I'm going to put my LED lights on that tomorrow, actually. So we're going to hook it up to number 4. 1, 2 and 3, we've already got heated grips. The little USB port here. And then the little GV power hub, hub that goes inside my tank bag. That just means that there's no parasitic draws whatsoever. So when I turn the bike off, this little hub turns off all the electrics, even if I leave them on by accident. Safe to say I've got all the connectors I would ever need, to be honest. Now, with the live, I'm going to put a little inline connector there. Just hook this up to number four. Yeah, then put a fuse in here. And with the black, the negative or the neutral, the ground wire, that's going to go on to the bike somewhere. Now, I think I've already got most of the things hooked up on here, but it doesn't really matter. I'll put a little eyelet on there, just hook it up onto the bike somewhere. Heat the ends of this, crimp a little eyelet onto the end of your neutral wire here. Before I go putting the tank back on, I want to just make sure that this thing is actually working. I don't want to put the tank back on, then have to take it back off again. And in order to test that, I'm going to use this little Airman air compressor. I've had this for quite a while now. It's a little bit beat up, but it's an excellent little bit of kit. It's got one of these little connectors. So I can hook this straight up to the little trickle connector that I've got on the side of the bike here. But it also comes with a little cigarette adapter as well you never know when this type of connector is going to come in handy for you now whilst i might not actually need it for my air compressor i've got a little charger for my laptop that's got a little cigarette adapter like this one so i want to make sure that it's working properly whilst i'm at this job guys i'm going to take this off and i'm going to move it actually because it's getting really manky and dirty under there as you would expect but what i'm going to do is i'm going to move it up i just put it underneath the seat and just leave it there there we go guys, so I've just rerouted this, I've moved it up, and I'm just going to leave it under the seat. Yeah, I'll just stick it down there next to the fuse box. I've reconnected the battery, just temporarily for now. And now we're going to go ahead and check this is working. Of course, we're not actually going to be able to start the bike because there's no tank. I just want to put the electrics on at the moment. If we give this about 10 seconds, then this little blue light comes on, you see that now? That means the power's now gone to the auxiliary. So if I turn this on... We can see that's now working. It's in 11.9 on the battery, which is not ideal, but obviously I've had it disconnected. Let's plug that in. As you can see, folks, the sun's about to set here over Loch Sween. It's been absolutely glorious today. Now, I'm going to leave the tank off the bike tonight because tomorrow morning I'm installing a couple of LED lights on there. There's no point putting it all back together just to take it apart again in the morning anyway that's it for this one guys i really hope you liked it if you did give me a thumbs up subscribe down below and i'll see you in the next one